you have any future projects that you want to back or maybe a show or let's say a foundation i've seen a lot of musicians setting up foundations of late do you have any such projects in the offing yeah i have an ngo you green ghana and uh, uh child education uh, airman afforestation because i moved to my neighborhood and i realized almost every kid i met had a catapult <laughs> and i was surprised what the what, what was the catapult for they are hunting for birds. birds so you give me a catapult and then i i buy a, i buy a catapult sometimes i pay you twice the amount <laughs> if you catch a bird and you bring it i pay you i free the bird and i have kids like during this COVID, there are kids i'm actually helping to to catch up so that when schools are reopened they can also and how, how do you do that do you teach them yourself i do i you know i i i taught before uh, it, it's even mandatory service you have to teach and after ss i even taught before going to school so i've had that teaching spirit in me and i feel one day i even end up in the classroom oh really again. yeah that is where i want to retire oh, okay to teach music sort of something music related music psychology anything music you know then you, you might you might as well be employed by the ndc if they win power because they are converting nafti gij and ghana institute of languages into a multimedia university where they will teach music as well so if if they win power you may be employed yeah but you'll be happy right why not but then the grassroots we should but we have to start from the grassroots yeah they were telling us don't don't say me don't 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 say me don't. Mm. People just recite these things, and they don't know how to apply it. Apply them, you know. And it's 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 but the way, you know, the way our music was taught, I think, isn't the wasn't the best, you know. You watch foreign movies, and in almost every kid, in almost the room of every kid, you see a guitar hanging or you know boys band that kind of thing. So it starts at the early stage, and Charlie. Uh, it contributes a whole lot to their GDP, you know. But if your if your structures are not working well and you contribute nothing to your GDP, why waste money on something you gain nothing from? That's my problem. Okay. And now it's even been politicized. Now we have colleagues who are saying this, and others who are saying for this. In Tuko Kano and Kaniya, Manhana. Will be better so come away, but will come up. But we all want a thriving creative art industry, and not just for you see when you talk about creative arts, they downplay it to just music and entertainment and maybe fine art, you know. But it entails a lot. Bibia, you know. So now, if you ask me. We need to go down, go to the roots, uh -huh. let them understand the vibe, teach them the music, the practical aspect of the music, not just the theory. Ah, somebody who can read sheets, you know, not just know that this is a dotted meaning, this is a crochet, this is this, this is that. No, but then when the sheet is there, what does that mean on the keyboard? And trust me, after JSS. Our unemployment problem will come down. Churches are springing up everywhere. These people, instrumentalists, are in demand so much. If we teach these kids, when I was young, the, in fact, all I wanted was end up in John Tay. Because I would see kids like me playing the instrument, and I, unfortunately, I never had a chance to. But if we are in a position to, why not? We should have school bands. I wonder how many schools have bands now. I, 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 I doubt if... I'm sure just a handful. And even that is expensive. But it shouldn't take that much to teach kids at that basic level what music really is. That way, in fact, the least we should expect is a, a better future musician who cannot just sing but read and write music as well 
I don't know if you've studied the manifestos of the two major political parties, the NPP and the NDC. They have spurt out in the certain things they want to do for the creative industry. The NPP has it, the NDC has it as well. And uh, principle among these is art education at the basic level, just as you mentioned. The NDC has it as well, the NPP has it. I don't know. Um, if, if you have really studied these two manifestos and the promises that they're giving, which of these political parties do you think has messages on the creative arts that hold a great fortune for the industry? Like I said, it's become politics now. And see, if you're saying it and you don't say it well, you, you're not careful, you may tilt to the other end. So usually... I, I, I haven't read the manifesto though. I've heard a few. Some say some will build ultra modern studios, you know, the regions and. In some of the, some regions. In some regions. But <laughs> come on, in this time and age, <laughs> every, almost every professional musician has a studio in his, in his house. You understand? And so that's not necessary, it's not useful. If, if you ask me. I wouldn't say it's not, it's not useful, but that shouldn't be prioritized first. Okay. You know, on the scale of preference, that shouldn't be placed first. I think there are more pressing ones. You see, we need record labels which can invest in individual talents. It looks as if our, our industry revolves around the same crop of artists. You know, that is why I say I try to make records not just songs okay yeah so that you know records that's why we got them records okay. they are there they are there if it, i don't have a hit today if my song is not invoked today i can still get a gig i can still be booked to play a wedding because of a song i played in 2012 or maybe 15 years ago this is what we should strive to do trust me great rather than think of Creating or modern studio. You can have the best of cars, but said driver Nenya, where where is the car going? We need to invest in individual talents. Well, we know that talent has a potential. ABBA. ABBA was a national agenda. Oh. The group ABBA. Mm. Yes, I, I, you can read more on that. It was a national agenda. Oh, Charlie Bandiway. Okay. We should, be, we should be able to access loans, you know, okay, that's a band, putting this money into the band, push them out till they get to where they are going. This is what we want to see happening. The studio, I have one in my house. I don't need <laughs> an ultra modern studio. All right, so it's been a journey of great interaction with Uta Efri and trust me this is one of the most talented musicians we have right here in Ghana he's out uh, with his new EP which is the Ayalolo EP make sure that you visit all the online marketing platforms and check it out thank you very much for keeping with us right here on the show my name is Kwame Dazi see you same time some other time